In this video, I'm going to share some work we've been doing with PX4, software in the loop simulation. Really excited about this. This uh, simplifies a lot of uh, PX4 development, stuff that you definitely want to test in simulation before you go over to real hardware such as Dexy. So in this video, I'm going to show how to bring down this image, run this container in Docker. We have a lot of the uh, PX4 goodies baked inside as well as the micro DDS uh, agent, which will bridge us from uh, ROS into PX4. And then I'm going to run uh, this project uh, from Casey, who's been doing some experimentation with, with navigation with Dexy. So I'm going to grab this command. We'll just uh, do a Docker run. You can ignore uh, my workspace here. I'm just using the terminal so that I can bring up uh, this instance. And what's really cool about this, the instance is running. I'll just go to my local host 6080, connect, and then we have everything we need to get running. So I'll go ahead and build PX4, and then we'll do the GZX500 model. See the model here in Gazebo. I'll just do a quick test. I'll do Commander Takeoff. And we should see the simulated drone arm and then take off to two and a half meters. So that's working nicely. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and clone Casey's repo. There are a couple of sub submodules in here. There's a submodule for PX4 messages. So we want to make sure we grab that. So in my work workspace, I'll just do a git clone, recurse submodules, and then give the repo URL. So those are all done. We'll go into the project. I'll do a Colkin build. This will probably take a minute or two. Obviously, it's it's very dependent on your hardware. I'm running on a MacBook M3 Pro processor, so uh, this generally happens fairly quick. But uh, don't give up if it takes a couple minutes. Uh, just just be patient. You'll see the build progress here. Okay, everything is built. I'll go ahead and source my workspace. Okay, so the node is ready. Then I'll need to go into my PX4 autopilot directory. We'll just bring up the simulation again. We see the drone. I'm going to do one more terminal here, and then we're going to bring up the micro DDS agent. So I'll specify UDP running on port 8888. See all these topics being created. So if I do a ROS2 topic list over here, see everything that we need here. And then let's go ahead and bring up the node. So I'll do a ROS2 run, PX4, I think it's worker, and then PX4 demo. It's going to tell me I forgot I need to install a couple of uh, Python packages. So the Pi state machine, that's a dependency uh, for Casey's code. And then a Flask, so I'll pip install Flask. OK, now we should be able to run the node. Looks like that's working, and by default, it should take off, arm, and then take off. So that's working nicely. And the other uh, cool thing about this code is there's a little Flask web server. So on uh, port 5000, you can see it here. I'll just make this window a little smaller, and then we'll just let's go right. So now we're moving right backwards left and this is in one meter increments obviously you can configure that we'll turn left turn right so this is something i obviously uh, spend a lot of time doing before i test any of this on on dexy but it's been a huge benefit to our development process i hope that it helps yours feel free to leave any questions or comments below and until next time thanks for watching